For this design, we're going to use the floral netting to create the armature to design it. So first, we need to make the armature. So what we want to take a look at is what size our container is, and we're going to cut the floral netting, which I have, as you can see, to the right width, just slightly wider than the lip of the containers. We take that and we roll the wire within to make it the right width to go on here as well. Then we just flatten it down. Flatten it and use a needle nose pliers or some type of a plier and we're just going to twist and turn. We're going to put those ends together and make sure you're bringing them in so that they're not going to be sharp at all. Um, and you will find that this is pretty easy once you get started on it, right? I'm going to make sure that that end is pulled in so that it stays where it needs to go. So we're just doing the twist and turn. And once we get that done, we're going to be able to put it on top, pull it up. So we have three layers of that wire that we're going to be able to, to design within. So we're going to take a look at that. We have this at the perfect size, ready to go. Now I'm going to look at my recipe and say, okay, what is in this design that I'm working on? I can see at the base of this design, I have the striped aspidistra. So I'm going to take my roll of waterproof ribbon, we'll go around the outside because that's going to show me how long I need it. It's going to be more than enough because I'm going inside instead of outside. Cutting that just a little shorter, and I know that's going to be the right size I need for my container. Now, oftentimes the water itself will push it against the edge, but if you see that it's like really curly, uh, a little trick is to turn it the other way so that it's giving that force against the container itself. Now then, we have that ready, and we're going to go ahead and fill it with our, our water. Next, I'm going to put our armature on top, and we're ready to roll. First insertions, when you're using this type of mechanic, are some foliage or flowers that are going to hold it in place. Usually it takes three, usually put them at the edges, and this is going to hold it so that mechanic doesn't keep falling off on us, right? Okay, next I'm going to go with our hydrangea, which are our biggest flower, and we will take that foliage off. So foliage is the first thing to go down, and we want to make sure that our customer has a nice long-lasting arrangement. On that note, we can see that we need to use something for hydrangeas because they're a little bit more sensitive. And we're, in this case, I'm using Quick Dip. I have a little um, thing of Quick Dip that I've put in here. You could also use um, alum, which I know we've talked about before. So we can give this a cut, give it a dip, and then I can stick it into my design. Always keeping in mind that the flowers that I'm using that are in my recipe, so I have that recipe in front of me, I'm not using any more flowers than I have there. Right? So what I want to do is to be sure that the flowers that I'm putting in the design are right beside me on my work table. That way I'm not tempted to go back to the cooler and get more flowers. This is what I can use. You can also buy pre-made bouquets with flowers that match recipes as well. And that makes sure that you're controlling the amount of flowers or the cost of each of the stems that are going in the arrangement. Our next largest flower and premium flower would be our roses. Giving them a quick cut. And those aren't as sensitive. We do not need to dip those because we did that when we processed our flowers initially. We hydrated them well. Okay. You can see when I'm using this type of armature that these flowers are just staying right where I put them. They're not moving at all, which is, which is exactly what I want. And we have our spray roses, beautiful spray rose. And we're keeping in mind our, our balance of color. So sometimes you can work on a turntable, otherwise just keep moving the arrangement around. If it's an all-around design, you want to be sure 
that you're placing the flowers so that they are going to be able to see, seeing all the way around. Now my carnations, I'm going to fluff them out just a little bit. They're nice and tight and I want them to be able to have good value when they get to the customer that they don't look too small. So we're going to take a minute and do that. And we have five of these. So we're going to start placing our carnations again, removing any foliage that's below the water level. You can see how it's building to be a, quite the beautiful design. does get a little tricky, as you can see. I'm not showing you that it's e quick and easy. You need to make sure you get it through both of those levels and to the bottom so it's drinking up the water as well as staying in place where I want it. Now then, my next step is to go in th with my foliage. I do have two hypericum berry left in my recipe that I will use but I want to make sure that I have my foliage in here first. And when you're using this type of an armature, you need to be sure to look at the base, the edge of the container, because sometimes there's that little bit of, of wire showing and we wanna make sure that we have great mechanics for our customer. See how the foliage really makes it take shape. As I do this, I can also see where I want to place the last of my hypericum berry. I can obviously look at my recipe to see where they're placed there to, to match that picture because the customer has seen that picture online or in my store and want me to duplicate that. So I want to be mindful of what my picture looks like as well as what it's looking like in person. Because bottom line, it needs to look good when it goes out the store. Okay, so now I have here, go all the way around. And I can see oh, where I want those hypericum. Strategically place those, right? Because it adds a lot of texture as well as that last element that I know is going into the design. Usually across from each other gives us a good balance in my product. But that one I dropped. Just Make sure that we're using all the product so the customer is getting the value that they paid for. So here we have that completed design. I look at that, I look at my picture, and I say, yes, all the flowers that I had already selected that were on my recipe are in the date. And so, completed design.